Hi, in this video we will see how we can create a cookie consent notice on your website and get compliant with GDPR and CCPA using the free version of the plugin. From the WordPress plugin dashboard, search for GDPR and there you can see the first plugin listed. Go ahead, install and activate the plugin. Now, just switch to your front end and there you can see the cookie notice bar even without any configurations. For further customization and settings, you can go to the GDPR cookie consent menu from the left side panel of your WordPress dashboard. The premium version of the plugin consists of plethora of options like automated cookie scanner, auto block scripts, GOIP based functionalities, and many more to manage and gather user consent. Click to get a detailed insight about the premium version of the plugin. Check out the link in the description to get here. Now, let's see what the basic version offers. The Cookie Law Settings page is where you can select the type of law needed for your site and also get various options to modify the look and feel of your cookie notice. As you have seen, the cookie notice bar is enabled by default in your site on activation itself. The plugin offers you to get compliant with GDPR, CCPA or even both. By default, GDPR is enabled, and that is why you can see the notice bar with the Accept button and Settings link on the front end. Now, on choosing CCPA, other settings pertaining to CCPA opens up. Enabling the CCPA notice will display the banner with the relevant text as per your configuration. This option is particularly used to record prior consent from the website visitors. Save the settings. Switch to the front end view, and there you can see the CCPA notice. On clicking the link you can either cancel or opt out. By enabling both GDPR and CCPA, this is how the cookie notice will appear at the front end. Alternatively, the premium version of the plugin comes with an inbuilt GOIP support to show cookie notice on the basis of location, such that GDPR regulation can be restricted to only European countries and CCPA regulation can be restricted to only California. Next, there is an auto hide option where you can accept an implicit consent from the user on delay or on scroll. However, as GDPR requires explicit consent, we have disabled it by default. The other section basically decides whether the site has to be reloaded on scroll or on accepting or rejecting consent. If you want to reload the site on user consent, enable the option. Moving on to the next tab. All the customization options are embedded within the Customize Cookie Bar tab. You can add a message header for the notice in the field provided or leave it blank if you do not need a heading. The content for the cookie notice is inserted in the message box. Default content is provided for you. For better understanding, I'll stick on to the GDPR. You can edit or modify the content, and the same will be reflected in the cookie notice bar. There are shortcodes given within the message box denoting the settings link and accept button. You can even add additional shortcodes if needed. You can refer to our help guide to know more about the usage of shortcodes. Next you have options to change the cookie bar color, text color and even the font style of the cookie notice. Even though by default, the cookie notice is shown in the banner format, you can also change it into pop-up or even widget. With the banner type, you get options to set the notice at the header or at the footer. Notice bar at the header will appear like this at the front end. On assigning as pop-up, you get options to add an overlay that will block the user from browsing the site. Let's have a look at how it will appear. A pop-up notice with overlay will be shown in this manner. Likewise, you can position the widget towards left or right. This is how it'll appear on your site. You can make the cookie notice animator remain sticky on load or on hide by selecting appropriately. Update the settings to save the changes. The Show Again tab is basically used to allow the user to revisit the message bar and alter their consent. Use either left or right to position the Show Again tab and enter a value in either pixel or percentage to specify the distance from the respective margin to place the dialog accordingly. 
The Show More Text field allows you to customize the text on the Show Again tab. Update the settings. The Show Again tab appears in place of the cookie bar upon user accept reject action. The buttons and links appearing on the cookie notice bar can be customized further from the Customize button tab. The short codes corresponding to each button or link can also be seen against each item. You can use these short codes anywhere within the plugin. First among the list is the Accept button. You can change the text, its color and show it as a button with customized color or as a link. It can also be customized to either simply close the cookie bar or follow a link. Upon choosing URL, key in the link to which it has to be redirected, as well as opt the URL to be opened in a new window. Also, choose a suitable button size from the drop-down menu. Then comes in the Reject button, again with its shortcode near to it. Here also you can see similar options as seen earlier for the Accept button. Then comes the Settings, there are options to modify its text, color, show as button or link, etc. By default the settings is shown as link, and then choose its size. The Read More is a link which redirects you to the Privacy and Cookie Policy page from the Notice bar. Click to get redirected to the Cookie Policy page. Here, you can edit all the cookie policies, which we will get to later in this video. Other than text, text color, show as button or link, it has the option to redirect to either a URL or page. In either options, you can specify the URL or corresponding page to which it has to be redirected. You can choose to minimize the cookie bar from the redirected page or URL, and also to open the redirected page or link in a new window. And then choose appropriate size too. The default banner doesn't have the read more link in it. So let's copy the shortcode from here and insert it in the message box of the cookie notice. You can see the Read More link on the cookie bar. Click to get redirected to the Privacy Policy page. So far we have seen all the buttons or links pertaining to the GDPR cookie notice. The next one, Do Not Sell a Link, is the one pertaining to CCPA. The Do Not Sell a Link also has its corresponding shortcode given. You can alter or modify the CCPA text from here. Show it as a link or as a checkbox. Its color can also be changed. From the Advanced tab, you can reset and delete all your current settings and revert to the default settings. Sometimes themes apply settings that may clash with the plugin. If that happens, you can resolve by resetting it to the default settings. The Help Guide tab consists of lists of shortcodes and links to documentation and support. The shortcodes can be entered in the Message field of the Cookie Law Info bar. They add nicely formatted buttons and or links into the cookie bar without you having to add any HTML. Cookie list is where all the cookies of your site will be displayed. You can manually add new cookies by specifying a title, cookie ID, type, duration and sensitivity. Here I have created certain sample cookies with title and other required properties. The premium version of the plugin has an automated cookie scanner which automatically scans the cookies and adds them to the plugin. The cookies thus identified can be added to your existing website cookie list or downloaded as a CSV. You can easily create and generate the cookie policy from the policy generator module. The policy generator will help you in creating a separate page for cookie policy, which will list out various details like about the cookie policy, what are cookies, how do we use cookies? What types of cookies do we use? How can I control the cookie preferences? And so on. You can even add additional details from the Add New button. Get a live preview of the cookie policy from here. Subsequently, a new cookie policy page can be created or an existing page can be updated. The plugin gives you two predefined cookie categories named Necessary and Non-Necessary. The Non-Necessary cookie settings are enabled by default. As well as, the Category Toggle button within the cookie pop-up will be in the active state for cookie consent. The description for the Non-Necessary category is also specified here.
The non-necessary tracking code script can be given within the head tag or body tag sections for it to get rendered on user consent. Rather than placing it within the theme editor file, you can directly paste your tracking codes within the plugin itself. For example, your Google Analytics scripts can be pasted within the head section. Let's see how this works. Click on Cookie Settings and just ensure that the non-necessary category is enabled. Click on Accept. You can see that the cookies are rendered. You can add the necessary cookies of your website to the necessary category. The users will not be able to disable the cookies that are categorized as necessary. So the cookies that are essential for the functioning of the website should be added to this category. With the premium version of the plugin, you can even create your own cookie categories like analytics, statistics, advertisement, etc. based on the nature of the cookies and have a granular control over them. The plugin provides you with an auto-filled privacy overview, which will be displayed within the cookie settings pop-up window. You can modify or edit it as per your need. If you want to have a nicely formatted cookie lists within the pop-up, you can simple copy the shortcode and paste it within the privacy overview page and then save the settings. Let's see how it appears. Now that all the settings are done, you are good to go. You will have a nicely styled cookie notice bar on your website to get the user consent. However, with the premium version, most of the manual tasks like cookie identification and cookie script blocking, etc. can be done automatically, in addition to the many other highly useful features. Keep watching this space for more updates about the plugin. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.